Hello and welcome to Taik. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about VLOOKUP in Power Query. I have made a video about VLOOKUP in DAX but this is something we can do it in Power Query as well. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is my Power Query. And here you can see there are two tables. One is a price table and the other one is the sales table. So the price table contains the item and its price. And the sales table contains the sales order number, item and its quantity. Now if you want to add a price here, you can also use DAX. To do that, you can also add a relationship between this item and that item and make the calculations. Everything can work. If you want to do it in Power Query, then you can just go to home and then you have option merge queries. Merge queries as new or just merge queries. So if I click on merge queries, it is going to add into this table itself, which is the sales table. If I click on merge queries new, then it's going to create a new table. That's the difference. So it is opening a pop up window where I need to select the main table and the lookup table. So the lookup table is price table for in this case. I need to make a relationship between the two columns. First of all, I'm going to click on item here and I'm going to click on item here. By doing that, it says a kind of join is left outer join from this to this. And if you look at the matches, there are total 15 rows available on the sales table, which is easy, which all the values are available in the price table. If some values like for an example, if tires is not available on the price table, then these numbers will differ like 10 out of 15 rows from the first table. Okay, now everything is matching perfectly fine. So we'll click on OK. So this will add a new column here on the right side of the same table. And then you need to click on this symbol. It will give you the list of available columns inside to this table. That's what we have missed, right? So from that table, I just need the price column. So I'm just taking out item. I just keep the price. And here you have used original column name as prefix. I don't need that because it will bring the name price table dot price. I just need a price, whatever the column name is. And then click on OK. So Power BI, Power Query itself will look up those values like the bike is 606 and the class is 1582, tires is 592 and Pains is 1076. That's how the same value repeats again here. This is really quick and simple way you can use the merge query as a form of VLOOKUP in Power Query. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.